Hello students, welcome back. Let us continue with sample paper number 2. Now section C, wherein each question is for 3 marks. There are more questions, but we will take a look at 4 questions for now and the remaining questions in the next classes. So for the first one, if root 2 is equal to 1.414 and root 3 is equal to 1.732, then we need to find the value of this expression. Or there is another question that if p is equal to 5 plus 2 root 6 and x is equal to 1 upon p, then we need to find the value of p square plus x square. So we will do both of these sums but one at a time starting with this one. So I will first write down this expression what we into 20 plus 1. So using the distributive law to solve this, I get 2 2 are 4, 2 3 are 6, 2 7 are 14, 2 1 are 2 3 and 3 decimal places out here plus 1.732. So adding 1.732, I get 2 7 3 6 3. So 36.372. Plus 2 into 1.414 will give me 8282. So 
2.828 upon 19. Let's add these two numbers. So I'll add 2.828, I get 0, 0, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 3. So 39.200 divided by 19. 39.2 divided by 19. Let's check 39.2 divided by 19. 39.2 divided by 19. 19 2 is a 38 minus, you put a point here. Now 0 is a, so you have 12. Get another 0, so 19 into 5. I get 5 9 is a 45, 5 1 is a 5, 95. Let's check 19 into 6. 6 9 is a 54. 6 1 is a 6 plus 5 11. So 1 1 for 2.06 1 1 for so you get 6 and 0. So 19 into so now any this term whatever we get away it will be less than 5. Let's check 3 9s are 27, 3 1s are 3, 4 5. So 3 is a. So 2.063. Now we need just two decimal player, two digits after the decimal place. So I will restrict it to this number. So what is this going to be equal to 2.06? Had it been this number instead of 3, if it would have been greater than or equal to 5, then we would have added 1 to the previous term. So, it would have become 2.07. So, the value of this term is 2.06. So, this is your answer to the first part. But if you do not wish to do this question, then you can do this question wherein you have been given the value of p and x is equal to 1 upon p. You need to find uh, the value of p square plus x square. So the second part for the 11th one, I have p is equal to 5 plus 2 root 6 and x is equal to the reciprocal of p that is 1 upon p. That means x is equal to 1 upon 5 plus 2 root 6. Now this is not x is equal to 1, uh, 1 upon 5 plus 2 root 6, this is not a real number right. So what we are going to do is we are going to rationalize it. So therefore x is going to be equal to 1 upon 5 plus 2 root 6 into 5 minus 2 root 6 upon 5 minus 2 root 6. So what we are doing is we are taking, uh, we are multiplying and dividing this number on the right hand side with its term that will help us to rationalize, right? So this will be 5 minus 2 root 6 upon, now this is a plus b into a minus b which is going to be a square minus b square. So this will be 5 square minus 2 root 6 the whole square which is going to be 5 minus 2 root 6 upon 25 minus 4 into 6 which is 24. So this is going to be 5 minus 2 root 6 upon 1 which is 5 minus 2 root 6. So x is equal to 5 minus 2 root 6. So you have p and you have x, we can find p square plus x square. That's what we need to find, right? So p square plus x square is going to be 5 plus 2 root 6 the whole square plus 5 minus 2 root 6 the whole square. So this now this is a plus b the whole square and a minus b the whole square. So a plus b the whole square we know is a square plus 2ab plus b square. So this is going to be equal to 5 square plus 2 into 5 into 2 root 6 plus 2 root 6 the whole square plus this term now. So a square minus 2ab plus b square. So again this will be 5 square minus 2ab. So 2 into 5 into 2 root 6 plus b square. So 2 root 6 the whole square. So what do you see? You see this entire term and this entire term, they are the same but with opposite signs. So you can simply cut them off. Therefore, what do you get? 5 square plus 5 square plus, uh, plus 2 root 6 the whole square plus 2 root 6 the whole square. So this is going to be 25 plus 2 root 6 is what? It's going to be 4 into 6 which is 24 plus again you have 5 square which is 25 plus 24. So let's add these terms now. 25 plus 25 is 
50 50 plus 24 is 74 then 74 plus 24 is going to give me 98 so p square plus x square is equal to 98 and this is also your answer so here are the two sums you could opt for either this question or this question please take a look at the solution thank you for watching this video hope this video increased your knowledge for more such videos and a completely free educational content log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our epathshala youtube channel we have each and every question solved for maths physics chemistry and biology so subscribe our channel share with your friends like our facebook page and follow our twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips and also win epathshala goodies so what are you waiting for? Subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education.